if you are an older sibling, your role and responsibility is greater than you think. What's up y'all, it's your girl B. Octavia and I am back with another video. Before I get into the video, let me do this real quick. That spray was a new product that has been added to Crush On You Beauty. This is a green tea, lavender, and lemongrass spray, okay? Keep your face clear, keep your face hydrated. The link will be below and the link will be right here on the screen. As I do, I like to speak on things that I can relate to and this topic is a very relatable story and situation with a lot of people and sometimes it leads to the youth's demise. What I'm talking about is the importance of being an older sibling. I say that it could lead to the youth's demise because if your parents aren't your role models or you don't have anybody who is your elder that you can look up to for guidance and positive guidance, I mean, then who else would you look at? You would look at your older siblings, right? Well, I can tell you from experience, from witnessing situations, or simply from it being my life too. I have six older siblings. Out of the six, one is deceased. There is one sister that you guys see that does appear in my videos that I can look up to. That leaves four other older siblings that I can't learn anything from. I'll tell you my experience and then I'll tell you the importance of being an older sibling because I am an older sibling myself. Now, my mom had three children before she had us four. She has quite a few kids. They moved down to Atlanta probably close to the time that I was born so i hadn't met them right now out of that three one is deceased so that leaves two older siblings and i've spoken to both of them a couple of times i've actually seen my older sister she came down to dc and we hung out and chopped it up and it was great and i spoke to my older brother a couple times but it was always so awkward you know i equaled that out to we just don't know each other yet now fast forward all these years i haven't spoken to him in a long time and i i've gotten updates about you know him having a wedding didn't get an invite you know you don't know me though so i guess weird. i always thought it was weird because we share the same mother like it shouldn't be that hard for us to feel some type of connection and i felt like as a older brother he should have just extended that hand you know i was young you know i'm thinking about you but i don't know how to communicate with you it just was a lot for me to do and i didn't think that it was my responsibility I always wanted a relationship with him, but I didn't know how to get there if the oldest person isn't extending an olive branch, you know? So, that was that, and I don't feel no type of way against him. You know, I know that he's living his life, and I'm living mine. You know, maybe one day we will have a conversation, and I'm not opposed to that. As I tell y'all stories of things that have happened to me, and I think about them, you know, I think about how many times I was put in certain situations, and 
yes, I put myself there because I wanted to be there, but there could have been some type of control, you know. There could have been a lot more control and just being aware of the people that are around, the people that you love, like the company that you keep. And I just think about how, like, I really didn't have any role models. If you are an older sibling, your role and responsibility is greater than you think. You must guide, you must give good advice, great advice. Absolutely great advice that they can use. If you're not giving your younger sibling anything to look up to, to respect, don't be surprised if you're unable to reach out to them again. My thing is this, I feel like it's either the older siblings giving bad advice or no advice at all. Where is the good advice? I have a younger brother. And me and my younger brother, we have went through it, you know. Besides that, I always told him and made sure I told him good advice. And I always made sure I told him that I believed in him that he could be better when he was doing bad. I told him, nobody's gonna have your back like I can. I remember one time I had told him before he left the house, I said, what time you gonna be home? And he was like, oh, I don't know yet, whatever. He had a track record of coming home late, right? And like one, two, and he wasn't 18 yet, you know what I'm saying? So. I checked him on it and I said, you better come home at a good time because being out like that is only going to bring the wrong attention right to you. Some people going to approach you and it's going to be this or that. And he said, okay, I got you. I'm going to come in at a good time. One o'clock, two o'clock. He come banging on the door like there's something wrong. So I opened the door real calm. And I looked at him as he as he ran in, you know, and I said, damn, it looked like you've been running from somebody. And he didn't want to tell me, you know, the pride and everything like that. And then he told me that he got held at gunpoint. Years prior, I told you that I got held at gunpoint. So me telling you to come home at a good time is the best advice I could give you. Oh, I had to go to Chipotle. Instead of me telling you, bring me something back. And you don't come back. Because not only did they put guns on you, but they shoot you. Nah. I'm going to always say bring your ass home at a good time time as an older sibling i haven't really had an older sibling that can wholeheartedly be a example except for my deceased brother and i i moved a certain way i didn't get close to a lot of people because i was learning from his death i was learning right there that anything can happen including your life being taken so moral of this story is if you are an older sibling and you are okay with doing bad and you okay with your younger sibling doing the same thing that you're doing you should be ashamed of yourself if you are an older sibling and you gave all the great advice that you can and the youth, your younger siblings still decided to go against that. And either they got really hurt or they got killed or whatever the case was. It's not your fault. You did everything that you could do. A lot of times I had to remind myself of that. I had to remind myself like I, I'm doing everything that I can do as an older sibling like my older siblings didn't do. 
I lay a hand on you too. I had to always remind him that even though I am only one of your older siblings, that doesn't mean to respect me less and just to simply listen. Listening can really save you from being in a lot of shit. Word to the wise. It's a lot of older siblings out here that's not living up to their job. You got a job to do. It never ends. The job only gets bigger.